kindly subscribe to our youtube channel to watch the full lecture hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in today's video let us see a 12 mark or a 14 mark problem in which you need to prepare a statement showing labor cost so the question is on the screen kindly take the screenshot of the question and as and how I am solving the problem, please keep the question along with it. So, from the following particulars, prepare the labor cost sheet per man day of 8 hours. Means we need to prepare a labor cost in which a man is working for 8 hours. Now, the basic salary for the man is rupees 2 per day. So, per day he will be paid rupees 2. Then, DNS allowance is 25 paisa of every point over 100 cost of living index for working class so like after there's some slabs okay so after 100 how much ever the points the cost of living index is there for each point he'll be paid 25 paisa so the current cost of living index is 700 points so we should live in this we should not consider 100 points apart from 100 points with the remaining 600 points he will be paid 25 paisa Leave salary is 10% of the above two means 10% of basic salary plus dns allowances employees contribution to the provident fund is 8% of the above three means 8% of basic salary dns allowance and leave salary the employer's contribution to the state insurance is 2.5% of the first three. Means the first three means it's 2.5% of basic salary, DNS allowance and leave salary. Expenditure on amenities to labor is rupees 20 per head per month. So per month they will be paid 20 rupees. Number of working days in a month is 25 days of 8 hours each. So now let us see how to solve this problem. So, four columns we need to put. So, on top we need to mention that statement showing statement showing labor cost per man day of 8 hours. So, here we need to add particulars column. Then here is rate. We need to show how it is calculated. Then here it is for 25 days. It is for 25 days and it is for per day we need to calculate. So now first is basic salary. First component which we need to calculate is basic salary. Basic salary what they have told that it is rupees 2 per day. Rupees 2 per day means total 25 days. So rupees 2 into 25 that is 50. Rupees 50 for 25 days and for per day it will be rupees 2. Next, if you want to get per day, then you need to divide the values by 25. Okay. The second thing is DNS allowance. DNS allowance. So what they have told DNS allowance is 25 paisa for every point over 100 cost of living index for working class. The current cost of living index is 700 points. So in that 700 points, neglect 100. So total for 600 points, we need to provide 25 paisa so it will be 600 into 25 paisa it will be 150 rupees and if you divide this 150 rupees from 25 you will get 6 rupees next the third one is leave salary it will be 10 percent of about two means 10 percent of about two means 150 plus 50 is 200 on that 200 we need to calculate 10 percent so 200 into 10 percent is 20 rupees so divide 20 from 25 you will get 0 0.8 rupees nothing but 80 paisa next is employers provident fund we need to provide a contribution towards provident fund so they have told that 8 percent of above 3 means 150 plus 50 plus 20 means 220 into 8 percent so 220 into 8 percent 220 into 8% it will be 17 rupees 60 paisa for 25 days 
if you want to get for one day then you divide it by 25 you will get 0 0.70 the next component is employees state insurance employees contribution towards state insurance they are told that our first three means 220 first three means 50 plus 150 plus 20 you will get 220 on that you need to charge 2.5 percent so 220 into 2.5 percent it will be 5.5 rupees it is for 25 days if you want to get for single day divided by 25 you will get 0 0.22 next the last one is expenditure on amenities and some infrastructure facilities it will be rupees 20 per month so they have only given its rupees 20 per month so it will be for 25 days it will be 20 rupees if you want to get it for a single day then divide it by 25 you will get 0 0.8 now add all this 2 plus 6 plus 0 0.80 plus 0 0.70 plus 0.22 plus 0.8 we will get 10.52 now add this side also 50 plus 150 plus 20 plus 17.60 plus 5.5 plus 220 it will be 263.10 paise so this is the total labor cost per man so this is how we need to solve this problem it is very simple problem hope you have understood this problem very well if you have any doubt regarding this problem Please put all your queries in the comment box. We will try to clarify your doubts as soon as possible. Thank you for watching this video. I will come back with the next video. If you have any queries regarding today's session, kindly send your queries to education.mbbroadcast at gmail.com.